Hello and welcome to another update video about VeChain. VeChain is currently moving up quite nicely. VeChain broke above the trend line. Before we dive into the microstructures here, this is the view on the four hour chart. We have this five wave move up into the March highs and then a corrective pullback into the July lows. So five waves up, three waves down, three waves into support support region between 1.8 cents and 3.2 cents. And the price was, well, ideally going to turn around in this area. Uh, we have seen this reversal, okay? Or, well, it's not confirmed yet. The market is trying to. In my opinion, we're still in a third wave to the upside or it could be a C wave. So as long as we don't have five waves up, there is no confirmed low in place. So that means while we have been watching for reversal here and last Monday, I mentioned it to you for the first time after we had an initial five wave move up and a three wave pullback forming a higher low. This is when we started watching for a rally and now it's materializing. We have a trend line we can watch as well. But important is that as long as we're holding 1.8 cents, I'm focusing here on an overall bullish case, an overall bullish scenario. Looking at the one hour time frame, we can see that we have an initial one, two setup with five waves up into the 6th of July high, three waves down into the Monday low, and it formed a higher low. Then we've seen three waves up. So I think, I actually think <clears throat> that we're dealing here with possibly a diagonal. This initial movement doesn't really fit in. So if it is an ABC structure, the A wave could easily be a five wave move. And then we're dealing with possibly five waves as a diagonal, but maybe the interpretation is wrong and maybe this is an impulse. I mean, it's not entirely clear. That's where I think, I th you know, at some point I think micro counting is completely unproductive. Okay, especially when it comes to altcoins, S&P 500 and so on might be a different game. But when we talk about altcoins, we don't necessarily need to dive into like 15 minute charts. Nevertheless, I mean, if this really is an impulse because D wave one looks really five wave move like, then the third wave should also be a five wave move. We could say maybe this is a wave one, maybe this is a wave two, but is this a wave three? Is this a four? Maybe, but it, it looks more like three waves up. So could it rather be that the third is here? But then this internal four is a bit deep, but yeah, it's it just doesn't have really the right look, but it's definitely long enough for a viable third wave, which is why I mean, you know, microstructures, especially when it comes to altcoins, there are a lot of distortions. Important is therefore, when we're dealing with a third wave, not to expect the price to top anywhere, right? So the trend is up. We just ride the trend. And how can we do that? Well, we can draw trend lines. You know, I sometimes show you here these trend lines, these ascending trend lines. You can yourself just put a steeper trend line on here, okay? And then maybe an even steeper one, but at some point it gets sort of unmanageable. Um, so that's one way of handling this. Are we still printing higher highs, higher lows? Yes, so the trend is still up locally. Whether we call that a C wave extension or a third wave isn't so important. Important is then when the pullback occurs that we have a support area to watch. And this support area is defined between 2.87 cents and 2.5 cents. Whereas I have to say that if it's an impulse to the upside, it shouldn't break below 2.61 cents. If it does, it could still count as a diagonal pattern but diagonals are less reliable. So yeah, I don't trust this move until we get five waves up and then we should get a corrective pullback afterwards, which could be the next setup. The same way that we had a five wave move up here followed by a three wave pullback um, this week. So end of last week, early this week. And this would then be just the same in large five waves up one, two, three, four, five, and then the three wave pullback. And then we can take it from there. Um, Someone asked me, you know, where, what, where, what's the maximum for the third wave? So there is no maximum. That's the thing, you know, we're in the crypto sector. When a third wave happens, 
I'm not even sure if this is one, but if a third wave is unfolding, then it can escalate and extend. I mean, it's not even unusually extended. So someone put in the comments, oh, it's, it's, it's moved above, you know, beyond the target, what now? Well, the trend is just extending, right? This here, as I put it on here, is the first ideal target for the wave three. That first ideal target was reached, but there's a reason it says first, because it's not the final target, it's the first. Um, I would only call this really a viable third wave if we get to the 1.38 extension. Well, the market did that. So then I naturally, if it breaks above it, we're watching the 1.618 and the 1.786. So I think we're now at a point where it could easily retrace. But if we if we just take a moment and zoom out, support area was mentioned, just take a look at this. I mean, what was the extension for this third wave back in December? I think we ex exceeded even the 200% extension. So you see a third wave, it's not, an, yeah, okay. It went just above the 200%, but couldn't, couldn't, couldn't sustain there. So what would that mean here? 200% extension is located at 3.3 cents. So again, we wouldn't be surprised for the market to get there. I will now also take out that first ideal target um, section. We don't need that anymore. Important are the next ones, right? So what happens if we just go higher? What are the key levels we can watch? And what do we need to be prepared for? So as I said, next upside levels are 3.166 and 3.3 cents. And then beyond that, 3.5 Eight, eight. That's my update about VeChain. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.